scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Now, who is this Holy Spirit that Jesus talked about so much? Who is this Holy Spirit that came upon Jesus in the similitude of a dove? Who is this Holy Spirit that even the world seemed to be so helpless until he arrived? Who is this Holy Spirit that Jesus had to warn the disciples to say, Tarry, don't just use zeal to go into the field. Wait until he arrives. And the Bible lets us know that he will not come empty. That every time he comes, he's coming along with a package. The name of that package is power. Say power. Shout it one more time. Power is the currency of the realm of the spirit that means if you meet me as a nigerian and you ask me for something what i will give you most likely is money is that true if you ask me for a bottle of water i may not sell water but i can bring out a thousand naira and give you is that true we call it in economics the purchasing power i have given you the capacity to have that water if you fly to the u.s and you meet someone and he wants to bless you he will not bless you with naira he will bless you with the currency within that territory so when you ask god to give you efficiency he sends you the holy spirit and the holy spirit brings to you the currency of heaven my goodness my god when he lands with that currency of heaven you can hold that currency of heaven like you see a nigerian can still hold dollars is that true and look at the excellency the, the 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 whole idea of currencies that one one hundred dollar bill is not the same thing as 100 naira is that true so if i have 200 dollars and you have 200 naira we all have money but the challenge that comes before us will show who is holding hard currency and who is holding whatever it is so don't just say you have power uh -uh. listen carefully there is the power that comes from heaven when the holy spirit comes the bible says he will not come empty you shall receive power you shall receive power man of god you shall receive power businessman you shall receive power the same way if you are broke physically on earth like we know you are not evil but you will be incapacitated there are things you cannot do listen to me when you submit a cv to get a job is it really the job you love most times it's not the job the job is simply a channel is that true you respect the job and you respect the owner of that job because without the job and the owner there is no possibility of a salary is that true so for for a salary to come you need a relationship with that man and the job you cannot bypass the holy ghost and stretch to obtain power uh -uh. the protocol was so designed that when you come you meet him first Please listen believers because we're about to pray now you shall receive power 
that sound from heaven was not just a sound of wind it was the Holy Ghost coming he said you shall receive power power to do what I ask you money to do what if you want to buy a house what do you use if you want to pay medical bills what do you use if you want to pay school fees what do you use is that true if you want to travel and pay your air ticket what do you use if there's all kinds of family quarrel over money and you want to settle it what do you use so if I give you money what did I really give you I gave you more than an airfare I gave you peace in it I gave you capacity for advancement are we together now now watch this if you have money and you only use it for medical bills you are shortchanging the potentials of that money because the same money that you use to pay bills is the same money that can buy you a house is the same money that can send your children to good schools so when he says you shall receive power he didn't mean you shall receive something that will be used only when you are a preacher uh -uh. i am giving you an advantage that lifts you beyond the realm of the ordinary man please believe what i'm telling you you will be ineffective if you reject the revelation of this sound from heaven most believers have run away from the power of the holy spirit and you ask them why they will say i'm not a preacher i don't need it i am not a prophet i don't need it i am not an apostle i don't need it but you give anybody money at the gate he will not say i'm not a worker he will not say i'm a female he will not say i'm a male the moment you bring out money they will collect it because they know that it can serve every purpose listen when you stand in a restaurant or you stand in a mall to shop the goods you are picking will not ask you how old you are the goods you are picking will not ask you what is your gender the goods you are picking will not ask you your background there is only one requirement do you have the purchasing power if that television is 500,000 or 1.5 million if you can drop the money there you will pick it and the television will not refuse to go it will follow you that means there is a gift that God can give you beyond your background beyond your gender beyond the limitations of your family first the holy spirit and with the holy spirit power i believe this i studied the fathers of faith from history and even the ones who are alive today none of them none of them rejected this gift he said you shall receive that means you can reject it many of us have rejected it but tonight god is giving you an opportunity again to receive power power to heal power to deliver power to transform power to turn things around power to rise beyond the grip and the limitations of 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 the vicissitudes of life power against the forces of darkness that sit upon the destinies of people listen to me there are people like i said in the morning great voices that should be heard across the globe but there are forces sitting on people's destiny and many of us are wishing that one day something would happen and jesus knew he said tarry now you have tarried again and he's coming to you saying i brought this in 2009 you rejected it now you see what it has cost your ministry i brought it in 2015 you rejected it look what it has cost your family if that power were not there or if that power were there you probably would not be at this level now he has come to you again in this conference and some of you i will not be surprised if you are here and you will reject him reject the holy ghost reject his power and he will back up in peace and allow you recycle pain again in ministry 
recycle pain again in destiny watch the devil destroy your family again watch your life go through circles of pain giving all kinds of explanations whereas there is power available for you how many of you have been stranded financially especially when you wanted to buy something and then you got to a season in your life where you came into more than enough and you went back to the same thing you know that that dominion joy of being able to purchase what frustrated you yesterday that's what god wants to do for you today that by the time you return from this conference the powers that refuse to give way you go back from this conference and you say in the name of jesus christ i didn't come empty peter had been passing the gates beautiful i am sure the blind man he may not know them but they knew him they knew his condition and i'm sure peter will say i wish i had the power i wish i had the power i wish i had the power and jesus said tarry something is about to come upon you the next time he was going to pray when he saw that man he said no yesterday's limitation cannot be tomorrow's limitation silver and gold i may not have but such as i have i received something when the holy ghost came such as i have such as i have hear what peter was saying i know what i don't have but i know what i have i know what i don't have the privilege of a superior background but i know what i have the power to fit to that background i know what i don't have the privilege to be raised by responsible fathers and mothers you may say but now i know what i have power listen to me please listen when God was calling me into ministry I prayed and I said Lord I have watched people do ministry without the power of the Holy Spirit I have watched people give explanations and got frustrated I have watched people destroy ministries like being dropped in the den of lions and I said Lord I do not want the kind of ministry where I will watch the sick and give them explanations and have them go back like that i don't want the kind of ministry where i will pray and speak over people they will shout amen with all their hearts and return with no testimonies how will i can't live with my conscience judging me every day that this the problem is not their believing they had faith enough to come for your meeting when a patient meets a doctor he has done his own part the remaining now is the doctor hear me abel kuta there are many of you who have done well as far as submitting yourself to doctrine and truth but can i tell you the way you want to go about your life and destiny without power i guarantee you you will be frustrated believe me believe me believe me there are demonic forces that will not allow you rise to become an expression of what jesus wants say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways it is through the greatness of thy power the the greatness of thy power not your explanation not your stories the greatness of your power man of god the gates of ministry will not open just because you are sincere you need power there are gates that will not let you rise there are gates that will not let sinners come to be saved listen he said i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us just help us under the anointing listen to me brothers and sisters hear me please look up i have been oppressed by demon spirits this man talking to you i'm not just telling you what i read in a book i know the kind of background i came from nothing rises to a global scale no i started ministry as a man of god 
and I was still being oppressed by demon spirits. Most people would not be honest to admit this and tell you. I was not an evil person. Yet these spirits will come and oppress me. I will shout in the name of Jesus like I was taught. And they didn't go. And because of the prophetic, I will see them. It's not like they are just pressing me. I'm seeing this spirit and I'm saying the Bible says, I give you power. Where is it now? Listen, someone has to get angry in this place this night and say enough is enough. I'm not going to let things continue to be powerless Christianity, resultless Christianity. I keep giving all kinds of trust, explanation, no sir. Hear me hear me your Bible is full of the story of men who knew how to receive power and knew how to operate it there was a man who lived like a God called Elisha one time Naaman the Bible says the captain of the Syrian army a valiant man in war but he was leprous and a little slave girl who served his wife she said oh there is a man that I can recommend for you if you have the humility of meeting that man listen to me they now wrote a letter to the king and the king said you see this trouble these people are just looking for an occasion for war when Elisha had it he said where is the man send him and let him know there is a prophet in Israel ah. I was told one time there was a time that they brought someone with a twisted face to Archbishop Idahosa of blessed memory. Do you know what he did? He told the man, look up. And the man looked up. He said, God, this man was created in your image. If this is how you look, leave him like that. We need to repent as a generation. This bragging, we brag about power, we've not seen anything. Those we call miracle workers in our generation were ushers in the Bible. In fact, they were in the welfare department. You see the requirement to be a worker in welfare in the Bible. You, you needed to have revelation equal to a man of God to serve tables. Listen to me. I know that power has been abused. I know that there are people who have merchandised it. But can I tell you, Abel Kuta, please hear me. If it is the move of God you want to see, if it is revival you want to see, if it's bringing this territory under the influence of the Christ, let me tell you this. Our explanations and stories, the world will soon become tired of us. They are already becoming tired of us. That's why our children now are not interested in the things of God. They prefer technology. They will be in church and they are browsing. You call Jesus, it's as if you call Satan for them. We need power. We need power. We need power. Shanada balakata, skade kete bareke teko tosh, skade brante kabaros kati galakata ba. A Christianity with results, a Christianity with genuine proofs that in one day you can bring glory to Jesus. In one day you can bring glory to Jesus. Listen to me, hear me, please. I want you to be patient tonight. I don't intend to keep us here for long but I want you to be patient because that sound from heaven will echo in this place again one more time one more time I can't guarantee that everybody will catch that fire but I know there must be someone here tonight someone tired of explanations without results look at me can I tell you this 
if we reject the ministry of the holy spirit and we reject the power that he's brought to us i was watching a video of one of the last standing old yoruba fathers who was part of the move of a particular denomination he was talking in yoruba and tears were coming out of my eyes i said god what happened to us what where did we miss it how did we backslide is it beyond recovery my goodness i was reading about a dear people that i know very much charles and francis hunter sir in one meeting they raised 100 people from the wheelchair 100 if one person stands up from the wheelchair now I can brag and make noise as if I brought heaven down and took it back up. This 100 in a service. One hundred. Some of the fathers that God raised even from your region. These were men that were like herbalists. As soon as you enter their house, before you sit down, you are already shaking. The kind of power that came upon them, they can speak to you in Yoruba and open your heavens. They were not revealing what will happen. They were making it happen. Can I tell you the truth? With all due respect and honor to our fathers, remember that our fathers were their students. So to tell you the kind of students they trained, There were things that were written in this Bible, they were not parables. They were not parables. Man of God, do you know what will happen to your church in all honesty when you truly receive power? That you declare over your members and in one night, a family with nine barren women that their wombs have refused to open because of witchcraft opens like a door. Where will you hide that testimony? That a popular madman on your street, like the madman in Gadara, now becomes healed and on Sunday he's dressed in suit, not stage managed miracles. That one day someone passes a mortuary on his way to go and pray and suddenly starts hearing a shout from inside the mortuary. I'm not dead, oh, open that door. And the newspaper comes to capture it. Oh God, where are you coming from? He says, from heaven. Somebody on earth refused to allow me go. They held me and brought me back. Except we don't believe in this Bible. I came tonight with a cry to tell you there is more. Oh dear prayer warrior, there is more. It's good to pray, but let your prayer produce results dear preacher there is more i don't mean to insult or challenge or you know negatively communicate anything but are you aware of the way we beg members why didn't you come to church i am not in the mood okay am i doing something wrong can you where, where did you find that in the bible i'm not saying to not treat people well don't get me wrong in the days of the generals a service will be starting 6 p.m in the morning by two o'clock or 12 there are already people queuing because they knew that if you saw those men it was like you saw god but let me tell you this before we begin to, we begin to pray almost every one of these men they died with a prophecy that there is coming a move of the spirit they died with a prophecy they said everything we saw can i tell you i've had the privilege to meet a few people who met these generals and my question to them is please tell me what did they tell you and almost every one of them will tell you that they left with a prophecy that that hand of god is coming again 
there are worshipers that are going to arise in power there are men of god that you we have not seen the apostolic and the prophetic you wait and see the breed of of those god is walking on abel kuta hear me do not elude yourself from this move in the next two minutes i'd like you to forget about who is at your left or right i'd like you to cry before god and say power from heaven fall upon my destiny power from heaven upon my destiny receive something that will change your life forever this is the place 
of encounter. Do to me what you want. Ah. This is the place of surrender. Do to me what you want. Ah. This is the place where my life is changed. Do to me what you want. Hey, na, 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 na. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, please hear me. I want to begin to pray for you. The first thing we are starting with tonight is a real impartation. Listen, believe me when I tell you you need the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't assume you have it. If it is not there, it is not there. There are ministries, there are individuals that are in desperate need for the power of the Holy Spirit. There is no need to sit down wishing for something that can be yours. For this promise is for you and for your children, as many as are afar off, even as many as the Lord will call. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. I want to pray right now. I want you to hold those. All those who begin to run by the spirit just bring them out here gently there is a very mighty impartation that is coming on you right now I want to pray for you father in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God here in this treasured land of Abel Kuta, standing from here and speaking to the nations there are men and women you are calling even at this time to give them strange experiences of impartation right now even as you have revealed to me I stretch my hands from the front to the back the left to the right as many of these people right now please whether you are an usher or not just bring them out those under the anointing at the count of three that fire is coming upon someone is an ignition of the spirit are you ready one Two, three, take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. There is a specific kind of impartation that God is doing with this fire. We are here. We need a move. Now hear me. Please hear me. Over the last three months, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me about a restoration of the healing ministry. The Lord began to speak to me that we have really lost the healing ministry there are people who heal but there are few people who have really gotten this healing mantle i believe that there will be a distribution of such graces here wherever you are i want to pray father there are men and women who must carry help that lady please help this lady must carry this mantle of healing at the count of three i want you to shout jesus not everyone but there are people who must carry this mantle are you ready now one two three 
feet, shout Jesus. Take that fire. 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 Ye shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Help that woman, please. Help that woman. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return Ali Ali oh Ali oh Ali Ali oh Ali Ali oh Ali Hallelujah. Now we are still praying. Please, I want you to give me, give me a mic. Hold on, please. I want to do something prophetic here. I'm going to invite Minister Dunsin to come up, and just any song in his spirit. I believe there will be a transference of mantles. Hear me. There are prophetic psalmists that will need to arise. Not, not just composing what does not edify. Please listen to me some of you have been called into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry but for a long time you are in hiding like Gideon a shofar is about to come from the realm of the spirit and hear me please as the man of God raises this song some of you songs young and old will begin to rise from within your spirit man yes sir please spirit of the sovereign lord shaka taka 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 make your presence now reveal the glory of the living god oh the mantle of psalmistry shaka taka 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 taka
Hallelujah. Now listen. Please listen. I like you to place your hand on your chest if you have seen any kind of oppression in your life and your family. I want to pray. The man of God is still going to worship. Listen to me. I want to pray right now. Here it's already filled up. So you may not need to bring them out. Just help them there. But I want to declare fire is falling from heaven. There are men and women here who have been under all kinds of oppression. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil ones. Now hear me. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. And if God be God, everything that has refused to give way for the King of Glory to come in, he must give way right now. And the power of God will come upon you. That fire will frustrate the counsel of darkness. I want you to shout from the depth of your heart that name that is above all names. Are you ready now? Father, I decree and declare that everyone here who is oppressed, everyone and every family, every business and every ministry, we come in the name of the Lord God of heaven and we decree and declare as we shout that name let every mountain let every other name let every enchantment let every activity of wizardry let every activity of star gazers let it come to an end are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command every foul spirit go now Darkness, go! Go now! Out of their lives! Out of their ministries! Out of their businesses! Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.